swag, swag, swag. Back in this bitch, now these people in this Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Layback, back in here with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, before we get started, what y'all think about that song that y'all heard, man, at the beginning of the show? That's actually my next single that I'm coming out with. Hey, y'all let me know if that joint hot or not. <laughs> y'all let me know if I should drop it or when should I drop it to. But anyway, we back, man. New subscribers, welcome. I see you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. So make sure if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. You can do whatever you want to do, actually. But we about to go ahead and get into this reaction. I just got done watching this episode. Thank God they brought a a. a, a co-host on the show this time because everybody know yesterday's show was dead crickets but anyway they brought battle rap legend hollow the dawn and if you don't know about this dude you need to google him you need to youtube him. url battles he, he went against loaded lux and he's fresh off a of battle against tay rock and from what he said he watched tay rock like it was easy work so whenever that come out man i gotta see what's going on because tay rock one of my favorite battle rappers but off of that so they get into it and the first thing they talk about is academics start throwing jabs at him about how he joe budden battled hollow the don and if you didn't see that battle I, look i know i fuck with hollow the don I, I i fuck with joe budden you know i mess with everybody academics the Jessica, everybody on the show i'm cool with I, I like what they doing but if you haven't seen that joe budden versus hollow the don battle you need to go check that out because joe completely lost that and what's crazy and real about the whole situation is joe admitted that he lost the battle in this episode this is the first time i've seen him say or admit that he's actually lost or he did lose to hollow the don so that was big for me you know what i'm saying so shout out to to joe button keeping it real everybody know what happened with joe button and the whole tax tone thing when joe and tax tone was going back and forth <laughs> When Tax was like, bro, you can't be serious. You lost. How? How did you win, beloved? How did you win? You can't be serious. That's my Tax Tone voice, man. But yeah, enough of that, man. So they got Hollow the Don sitting in on the show, and so it was, it was, it was a, a delightful episode, I, I would say. So they started talking about XXX. Um, you know, that's a big story right now. If y'all haven't seen the clips of XXX and what he was doing like last night. Um, talking about the whole domestic violence thing and they kind of got real on set again so joe was like you know i gave this dude advice yesterday and he just kept it real this was probably one of the realest moments on the show today he was like look he looks guilty and that was a major statement man he said he looks guilty it doesn't matter if he's you know what I'm saying innocent or not but from what he's doing the jury they're gonna look at all of the stuff. They're gonna pull his social media. They're gonna pull his Snapchats and all of the, all of his tweets and stuff like that. And they're gonna use that against him in court. And based off of that information, he looks guilty. So that was just crazy. Basically, he told him, man, yo, XXX, you just need to chill, bro. Chill on all of this social media stuff. Just relax. And academics is kind of like, bro, like this is who he is. Just so happened. He, he did great on his album so now he's pushed into the mainstream but this is how he acts anyway but joe was like yo well he need to just chill out you know what i'm saying because it's not looking good for him right now he has to hit the chill button chill so they got into that you know and even hollow the don was like yo like i don't know what's going on with bro you know what i mean like he need an og to kind of sit him down and just tell him like yo like chill so that was a huge moment on the show then they got into the wendy williams and ti thing Yo, you got to see this Wendy Williams picture. All my Wendy Williams fans, how you doing? <laughs> but you got to see the Wendy Williams picture. And, I, and hey, look, I got to salute T.I. though, because he was like, he kept it positive in, in, the, in the post, and he didn't attack her. So I got to salute that. So shout out to, uh, you know, T.I. For, for that right there. And um, so basically, they were just talking about how, you know, you talk about all these people, but, you know, basically you take a... Take inventory on your life as well. So check that out. Like I said, it's in the episode. And Joe Budden was also talking about how he want a rematch with Hollow to the Don. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I would love to see that because Joe, bro, you gotta redeem yourself or you get, you gotta at least try. I don't know if you can because let's not forget Hollow the Don. This is his arena. So academics was kind of like, bro. Well, that'd be like Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. 
and I was like, oh, that's kind of true. Like, you kind of do the same thing, but you don't do the same thing. So you trying to come over here with Hollow the Don, and he solidified his place as a legend in battle rap culture. For you to even think that you can even go toe to toe with him could be a stretch. So y'all let me know in the comments below, would y'all love to see Hollow the Don versus Joe Button? I know I would. And they was also talking about the new iPhone, how that joint is like a thousand dollars. That's outrageous. And um, but off of that, LeVar Ball, his next shoe is fifteen hundred dollars. Yo, salute to my man LeVar Ball, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about LeVar, because his first shoe was like five hundred. Now his next signature shoe, let's throw that in there. Signature with the quotation marks behind it. Signature shoe is fifteen hundred dollars. Now I gotta respect him because it's a it's a it's a black owned business. He's actually doing it on his own. He not looking for Nike or Under Armour or none of the boys to come out there and try to support him. He's actually doing it on his own. And you gotta respect that. So just like they were saying, academics and them was talking about how Louis Vuitton and all these places charge fifteen two thousand dollars for for a pair of shoes. Why would we look at LeVar Ball any different? You know what I'm saying? Just because he's new on the scene. But it's people out there that's charging a lot of money for clothes and fashion anyway. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Would y'all pay $1,500 for LeVar Ball shoes? <laughs> you know what I mean? And also, the last thing I'm going to touch on right quick is do you think popularity is the new talent? Like, let's just say uh, the Catch Me Outside girl, she said, well, academics reported that she dropped a song. And on that song, she actually, her song is charting on Billboard. Now, obviously, I haven't heard this song. Y'all probably heard it. If y'all heard it, y'all sent drop a link in, uh, in the comments or something like that so I can go check it out. But I'm just from my opinion, from my perspective, I haven't heard the song. I don't even know if she's a rapper, but I'm assuming this is a rap song. I would think it's not that dope. But because she's popular, all of the streams and all she got and all those things pushed her up to Billboard. So y'all let me know. Is it popularity or is it talent that's winning nowadays? Because if so, I need to pick one. Cause I'm hella talented. Obviously, you heard the song at the beginning. Hey, shout out to everybody that that uh, helped me out on that track. You know what I mean? The producer, the, uh, the singer. Shout out to them. But um, yeah. So that's it for this this episode. Look, man. Like I said, I'm gonna drop the the comment on the end of the video that just got all of the most that got the most uh, likes on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and post that up. Salute to them. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. And make sure you check out the rest of my videos, man. Shout out to you, self-love and positivity. I'm out. It's your boy Laid Back. Yeah.